you love God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and all that made you love me even better. I was very, very happy with you, too. You know that meeting and being with you made me grow stronger spiritually and made me see my purpose clearly in God. I loved how you placed God above everything. Finally got married and we were ordained as pastors and started church. Wow. <laughs> the blessings the blessings followed each other back to back. Wedding, ordination, ministry, and the best one of them all. We were blessed with the fruit of the womb. I thought to myself, we must be really blessed to have all this in a span of five months. You were so excited that in that same week we found out, you called me to the prayer room where we used to pray to talk about the naming of the child and other things concerning the baby. You had prayed for the names and you gave me the two names if it turned out to be a boy or a girl. And I loved them. A few days before the accident happened, you shared with me a dream you had and how disturbed it got you. I remember you got in prayers and fasting for the thing and on the third day of praying, the accident happened. My love, I had not seen it coming. I was confident that God, that God would heal you and bring you back home to me. I remember on Good Friday when I saw you at the hospital and you could not talk. I got worried, but still was holding on to faith. I got home that night and made this prayer. I said, God, please heal my husband. As he resurrects on Sunday, please let the hospital bed not contain him. Give him a new skin, a new set of kidneys, and healing to every part of his body. I saw you the next day, which was a Saturday, and left around 4 p.m. At around 8.30 p.m. that night, I, left a I felt a strange coldness in my body all of a sudden. I remember I was at my uncle's place. They covered me, and I lay on the street for about 10 minutes. I thought to myself that I was just exhausted from running up and down. Now I know you are saying goodbye. I went home to sleep, and the next morning I received a call from the hospital and around, at around 6 a.m. that I was needed at the hospital. I'll be honest with you, I knew right then that you had gone to be with the Lord. I got to the hospital and it was confirmed. You went to be with the Lord on 11th of April 2020 at 8.30 p.m. B. It hurt so much. It doesn't make any sense that you died while praying. At first, I thought God was so unfair. But later on, I remember the prayer made to God <laughs> to heal you completely, to take away the pain, and to resurrect with you. I did mean it that way. Did I pray the wrong prayer? I will never know. All I know is, I just wanted to have you back home, healed. God has answered my prayer. It may not be the answer I expected or wanted, but it sure is what I asked for. You are no longer in pain, and never ever will you be. I know you are happy where you are. Even if I asked you to come back to me, you wouldn't want to. I mean, who wants to come back to a world of so much pain, a world of wearing masks because of corona? <laughs> as hard as it has been, my love, I have accepted God's will. It doesn't make sense now, but I, I am certain it will someday. He's not a wicked God. By the grace of God, I will continue with the ministry that he had started at Kingdom Authority Global Mission. Because I know you would want me to. Sometimes I feel like you knew your time had come because of how you had put things in order, like naming the baby. We agreed to call him Joshua Tolua Apewajoe, if it's a boy, and Joanna Tolua Apewajoe, 
if it is a girl, it is a boy. So he is Joshua. Oh. <laughs> Whether Joshua or Joanna, I pray that just like Joshua arose and finished the work Moses had started, they too will finish what you started. I will tell Tolua of how kind you are, Pastor Beloved, and what a true man of God you are. Second Corinthians 5 8. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Continue being with the Lord, my darling husband. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Ruth, for the strength, for the humor. God bless you so much. Indeed, God is good. God is good, and all the time, and God is good, and that is nature. The late beloved John Atwajoy was born in 1978 at Nasarawa, Jos North Plateau State in Nigeria. He was the second born to his parents, the late Samuel Olua Daisy Atwajoy and Grace Atwajoy. He was a brother to Sam Atwajoy, also known as Big Sam, Abraham Atwajoy and Bose. His early childhood. Beloved John was a jovial child and a blessing to his family and community. He enjoyed playing football when he was young. He loved, his love for God was seen even he was still a child. Career. Beloved John started his career at the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission in Nigeria in 2006. He worked there for seven years and resigned in 2013. Ministry. Pastor Beloved John gave his life to Christ and started serving in ministry at an early age while he was in Nigeria. He later advanced his music ministry, joined other groups that later went solo releasing The Kingdoms of the Lord album. In the month of February 2020, Pastor Beloved John started the Kingdom, the Kingdom Authority and Global Mission ministry here in Kenya with a vision to rescue, restore, and reconcile mankind back to God. Marriage. Beloved married Ruth on 22nd November 2019 in a colorful ceremony. His love for his wife was evident even to strangers. He was one of the few men who shed tears of joy even in his wedding day. His sharp dressing during his wedding day can confirm his love for fashion. His smile and dance on that day showed how happy he was for finding the love of his life, Ruth Makete. Married in a different country, he was still loyal to his culture that was evident on how he dressed and the food that was on the menu of the wedding. Together, they were blessed with an unborn baby. Illness. On 30th March 2020, he was involved in a gas explosion accident in his house. He was then rushed to Bellevue Hospital, where he was admitted for one week, then later on transferred to Kenyatta National Hospital. Pastor Beloved John went to be with the Lord on 11th April, 2020 at 8.30 p.m. Pastor Beloved John was a young, charming, handsome man with immense love for God, who on a daily basis looked at a living closer to God. He was an easygoing person who managed and planned his future life, an encourager despite the situation and a fan to be around. He leaves behind two children, Jade and Led, and a wife, Ruth Machete. Thank you. God bless you. 